Hey, hello everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manage and switch between E and Bs with just a click of a button. You're gonna need a few things. The first thing is gonna be E and B itself, obviously. Little news on the left hand side download Skyrim SE. Choose the latest version. Go all the way down and click download. Next, we're gonna download the E and B in Reshape Manager. Go to Files, manually download this guy. After that, we're gonna download the Skyrim SE re engaged E and B. This is pretty much my favorite E and B here. Let's go to Files. And let's get the first one here. It's the ENB for Obsidian Weathers. Let's download this guy. Now we gotta download the weather. So put in Obsidian, Obsidian Weathers and Seasons. Download it with your mod manager. Now go to your mod manager. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and activate it. Here are all of our downloaded files. Open up a new window and then go to your Skyrim Special Edition root folder. That's the folder with Skyrim SE.exe. So I've created a new folder called Utilities. Open it up. Now I'm gonna just move the ENB manager over. Now we're gonna extract the re-engaged ENB. Here it is. Let's open it up. This is the main folder that we gotta install. And then we have some optional settings here. So for the depth of field strengths, I like it to be static. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this guy, go back to the main file folder. And I'm going to use the Ultimate Edition. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to paste that in here. And overwrite it. And I also want to use an optional rain textures. I want a small one. So I'm going to copy this guy. Go back to the main file folder. Ultimate Edition. ENB Series. And paste it in here. And replace it. Now the reason why we're setting this up prior to using the manager is so that we have all the necessary files that we want. And I think we're pretty good here. Go to your root folder, open up the utilities folder. Now we're going to open up the manager. I'm going to click on remember this selection and click on Skyrim. We're going to choose the special edition. All right, so it's found our game. If the manager didn't detect your game, you gotta just point it to the right path. Now it's asking us where we want to save the configurations. We want to create a new folder for this. I'm going to go to Windows, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Go to Skyrim Special Edition and click here to make a new folder. I've named the new folder ENB Manager Settings. So I'm going to choose that. Click OK. And here's the manager. There's five sets here. In each set, you have 10 configurations. So total, you can have 50 ENBs that you can choose from. Let's set up our first one. I'm going to go to Config 1. Click on it. And a new folder will pop up. What we want to do now is go back to our ENB preset folder. I'm going to copy everything here onto this guy and paste that in here. All right, we're going to go back to the manager. We're going to name this re-engaged and then just click outside the window highlight the name and then on the right hand side you're gonna see this is load button so click that to load press yes next we're gonna open up the ENB series zip folder go to the wrapper version and we're gonna copy these two files and drag it over to the root folder now let's sort our plugins and launch the game Every time that you switch to a different ENB for the first time, it's going to take a while for the game to load. So just be patient. Check this out. Just beautiful. All right, let's add another ENB to our manager here. We're going to choose this guy, PRT Photorealistic Tamarel. If you read this, it's going to tell us that this requires NAT.ENB 3.1.1 plugin, ENB helper, and EV LAS. Let's go back to the description. Scroll down until you see installation. There you go. It's going to tell us to install the plugin. So right click, open a new tab there. Also, we need ENB helper. Right click, open that. EV LAS. Open, new tab. 
we already downloaded the ENB binaries. Let's go to nat.enb3. So this is the plugin that we want. Let's download it from the manager. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Just overwrite everything. Download EAB helper. Make sure you have the correct version. Make sure you install it. If the game gives you issue, make sure you also download and install ENB helper plus as well. And then lastly, let's install EFLAS, short for Enhanced Volume Metric Lighting and Shadows. Download both this guy and this guy and activate them both. Let's go back to the PRT ENB mod page and we're going to go ahead and download this file right here. All right, here it is. Let's extract it, open it up. Just like the other ENB, this is the main files folder. And then you have options for different qualities. I'm going to choose the best visuals. Copy this guy. Go to the main files folder. Paste it in here. Open up our ENB manager. Go to config2. Click on it. All right, now we're in slot 2. Let's copy this guy. Paste it over here. And let's name this guy PRT. When you want to switch to a new ENB, Make sure that you tick this box right here. Keep D3D11.ELL. Then you press load. Yes. If you don't check this guy and then you load the ENB, in the root folder, you're going to notice that those ENB files are gone. It's deleted. If this happens to you, you got to go back to the ENB series zip folder, wrap a version again, and then we're going to copy these files onto the root folder again. And you got to do that each and every time. To combat this issue, what I like to do is let's open up again, wrap a version. I'm going to take these two files out and then I'm going to copy this guy onto each of the slots. So I'm going to just paste it in here, close it up, open up slot one. I'm going to also copy the DOL files over here as well. This way, each time you load a different ENB, you're guaranteed to have these files installed. All right, so for example, let's load up re-engage again. Yes, you see how this is unchecked, but the files are still here. Now let's load PRT. Bam, files are still here. Now let's sort out plugins and launch the game. With this CNB, you're going to see this intro, so we got to disable it. On your keyboard, press end. It's going to open up the ENB menu. Press the tilde key, so that's the key to the left of the number one. Now we can use the mouse without affecting the game. Go to post processing. If you don't see this window, make sure the show shaders window is checked. Go back to post processing and to the right of show tutorial, we're going to turn it off and press end again to exit it to the key. And here we are. We have successfully switched from one ENB to the next. It's amazing how different ENBs and lighting effects will make the game look completely different. If you want to uninstall ENB altogether, all you gotta do is click here to remove. Doing this, your game will not have ENB anymore. If you wanna load one of the ENBs again, just go ahead and click load. Alright, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more, and take care now.